Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Bloom. I have just witnessed Notts County 1, Ipswich Town 1 in a pre-season friendly where the story I'm afraid is again going to be another injury for Ipswich. Tristan Nydam in a 50-50 just after half time and a dislocated ankle I have heard. Um, the reaction of the players around him was not good. Dazelle holding his head. Emma Hughes looked like he'd seen a ghost. So, sounds like a pretty gnarly one. And Nidham now out for a fair old while, I would have thought. And that did somewhat kill the second half, certainly for the 15-20 minutes after the injury. But, here is the story of the rest of the game. I'll whack through the Notts County team and then we'll get on to Ipswich. Um, Notts County sort of 4-1-4-1. Fitzsimmons back four. Kelly Evans, Oxlade Chamberlain, Bird and McCrory. Um, sitting midfielder was Doyle with Rose and Kellett either side of him. Boldervine down the right. Reed down the left. And Nathan Tyson, who um, has been around forever, um, up front. So Ipswich again in a 4-2-3-1 the way they started at Colchester. So some continuity there, but not a lot of continuity in the team selection. Um, Bialkowski comes in. Emmanuel starts at right back. Wolfenden is the right-sided centre-back with Guthrie, the trialist from Walsall, if I'm keeping up. The other centre-half. Nidham who unfortunately doesn't finish the game. He was a starter against Colchester. He um, starts this one at left back. Cole Skews and Emmy Hughes starting a game there. So um, maybe we can start to feel that Hughes is on his way back. Those are the two, uh, the double pivot in the 4-2-3-1. Uh, the three off the front, Dobra starts off the right. El Mazzuni keeps his place in the 10 position. Luke Garbert keeps his place the left of the three off the front. And the one forward is Caden Jackson, not James Norwood as we'd thought when we saw the first team sheet. Um, here we go. Fourth minute in from the left by Reed, Half cleared by Wolfenden. and bit scruffy. Kelly Evans shoots straight at Bart there. Mistake by McCrory, Dobra in behind the left back. He's got an easy pass on to Jackson. He holds on to it and his shot gets blocked. Falls to Garbutt who shoots a goal. His shot actually hits Jackson. Dobra, I know he's trying to impress in a friendly. He's just got to slide that across the box and Jackson's got an easy chance there after five minutes. A um, couple of Notts County set plays. It's really looking a bit wibbly wobbly from them. Um, I'm sat behind Paul Lambert and he's audibly shouting continually wider, wider, wider when um, Ipswich have deep possession. He wants a wide back four and he's happy for movement of the ball across the back four and then when it transitions everybody moving forward so I was moaning about evidence of pattern of play not being there if that is um, what they're working towards then that will be great but relies a lot on the fullbacks one to get wide two to receive the ball and then three to get forward um, so we'll see who actually starts at fullback when we get to August 3rd at Burton. Um, it was quite possession heavy as we go into the 20 minute mark, clearly trying to recycle the ball around the back four and the low midfield positions to start attacks. If that can be a bit snappier, um, that will look quite good, but a little bit of friendly kind of rolling it about there. Um, drinks break because of the heat. A uh, lovely one-two by Emmanuel. Um, it's Emmanuel and El Mazzuni with the one-two here. Uh, this is the one time where Emmanuel does fulfil the, fill, the fullback role that Lambert seems to want him to play. He's in behind, um, cuts back a really firm cross, smashes it across the box. It's behind the forwards, but the second wave of runners. Here comes Emma Hughes, who technically you'd think is very good. He's back corner of the box on his favoured left foot, and he completely air shots it. Um, well played Emmanuel though. Um, nice little touch there from him. Garber in off the left here. Incisive stuff. Dobra to Jackson. Poor final ball again. Garber um, actually has shown me more when he comes in off the left hand side and joins in rather than when he goes down the line in the sense of a winger. So uh, maybe some hope for him joining in with the forward from the left hand side rather than going down the line and crossing. 
39 skews. Lovely switch out from Nidham. Nice floated ball. Nice and high up again um, in the fullback position. He crosses to the near post. Jackson gets their first defenders with him and he can't kind of get any kind of angle on the sort of half volleyed um, toe poke, really. Uh, Dobra, lovely little slalom here. Slid wide to Jackson. Um, Dobra gets taken out in the build-up. That was a bit annoying because he had the bit between his teeth. They're running towards the box. Jackson then has no one to play it to and the ref obviously waves an advantage. Not that there was much advantage then. Um, and then Notts County take the lead. Um, so despite all of that kind of possession play, bringing the fullbacks forward, working the ball around the back, the wingers starting to get into it, then it's an individual error. And we had so many of these last season. Um, I really don't want to be seeing them. I know it's a friendly and I don't want to get too um, down on anything. But it's a poor mistake from Josh Emmanuel. The ball... Um, it's kind of right to left diagonal from Notts County. They, they they barely played through all all match. Um, it was channels and um, early balls really, um, and it was uh, fourteen. Excuse me, Kellett chases with Emmanuel, and I I joked in our Blue Monday WhatsApp group that Emmanuel was ninety to ten favourite to win that, and he just gets it all in a muddle. He he could do any number of things, knock it back, clear it out, move wide, knock it up the line. And he just gets in a complete muddle. Let's kill it, take it off him. He lays it back. And then, of course, the defence is completely misshapen now. Tyson gets it. Um, it's a lovely finish, actually. Um, I think he might even use Emmanuel as the screen. He hits it with the left foot, say, from um, like the D. Um, low left foot into the corner. Bialkowski left standing with that one. He's exposed um, by the mistake by Manuel. And Notts County are going to go into half time with a 1 0 lead on what there was actually um, a fair few positives in that first half from Ipswich. Not the kind of um, gung ho, cut and thrusty, lots of goals like we saw at Colchester, but a bit more in terms of pattern of play and a bit more in terms of possession, certainly in that first half, I know. Five goals in one game, some possession in the other game. I, I get the comparison people will make. Second half, um, <laughs> this caught us all out. So here's your lineup for the second half. Bart in goal. Cole Skew's going to play right back. Um, as soon as I saw him in the back line, I thought they've gone three at the back. But no, he's going to play right back. Uh, Wilson, the other trialist, is in. And Darba is in. First time I've seen him. He's going to play left centre back. Nidham, still there. Um before that tackle, uh, Dazel is joining Hughes in centre midfield. Dobra, El Mazzuni, Garber, Jackson, the rest of the team. Um, so just a bit of a reshuffle of those back six. Jackson cross shot straight at Fitzsimmons in goal. Big mix up here. Bart comes charging out. The ball goes loose. They're chasing in behind. I think it's Bodevine um, picks it up. He he's blocked. His angle is blocked off by the Ipswich defender covering. They can't quite snap on that indecision at the back there uh, Dobra good feet here swings it over um, just over in Darba's head who'd stay forward from the set play so here we go 53 minutes in and it is it's Kelly Evans the right back and Tristan Knight and they're going to come together it's a 50-50 there's no real blame attached it's just one of those where you both go in full throttle you hear that big Bang when two pros try and hit the ball at the same time. Obviously, something has caught Nidham or he doesn't have the support of his leg behind his ankle. And from what we've heard, um, it's just a massive impact on the ankle. Um, and yeah, Dazelle walks away like this. Garbert um, looks very troubled by it. Skews bends down and crouches with Nidham and waves the other players away. Emmy Hughes looks a bit shaken by all of it. So you can tell in the crowd this is not a, a dead leg or a stunned ankle or anything like that. Obviously a severe injury. Um, Nidham, he'd been away on loan at St Johnston last season. Maybe a chance to get back into the team. Been tried out obviously at left back the past two games and just a real... A real shame for any pro, especially a young one, trying to make his way maybe at a level where he can, you know, get into that first team. There seems to be some uh, competition for fullback. So very, very sad. Um, seven minutes he's down for, very carefully 
loaded onto the stretcher. He takes the oxygen. Um, obviously, um, all the fans of either team, big round of applause off. But sadly, that's going to be the story of this friendly. A nasty injury, we think, a dislocated ankle for Tristan Nydam there on the 53rd minute. Um, so seven minutes stoppage, uh, Clements comes on straight swap for Nydam. Um, Ipswich are a bit shell-shocked and the um, energy kind of dissipates out of the game. Really, Ipswich drop back. Um, corner goes out to Kellett, beats and Darba very, very easily, shoots near post Bialkowski saves. It's going to be a bad 10 minutes for Ndaba. This. Um, I don't think he was nervous because it's only a friendly here. Maybe he was just a bit shocked by what happened to his teammate because then on 63, Oxley chamberlain is going to run right past him into the box again and Clements bails out and Darba, the shot blocked there from the marauding centre half. On 65... Um, and Darba, again, his third kind of iffy moment within that five-minute period, um, heads the ball back to Bialkowski. There's a big gasp. Is it going to go loose to the forward? No. And then what happens is Ipswich are going to equalise from the next attack. So um, I'm just about to write down and Darba, come on, get yourself together. But the ball goes back out to him and he starts the move that creates the equalising goal. So I have to eat a bit of humble pie from Ndaba's perspective. They're out, they come, and it's worked forward to, I think, Dobra um, in the 10 position. He slides it through, and this is what you want to see from Caden Jackson. He's off the shoulder, inside right. Um, I think probably between the fullback and the centre half, he's pulled off nicely and really, really takes his time really well. Doesn't rush this at all. Gets it out of his feet with the right foot. Let's the keeper come out, finds the space and slots it low around the keeper in to the net. Um, I like to see that in a one-on-one. The strikers say, look, I'm in, I'm in control of this. Wherever you go, I'm going to find the space. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to score. So nice for Jackson. That's three goals in two pre-season friendly. And I hope I've got the assist right. Um, El Mazzuni and Dobra have a similar disposition on the pitch and a similar build and hair colour as well. So um, if I've got that wrong, I'm sorry. I do think it was Dobra that slid that through. Someone fact check me in the comments. I'm sure you will do there. So 1-1 one, one, and yet again, um, a whole load of opposition subs here um, for Notts County. I think four to begin with. Then we're going to get another seven in about 10 minutes. Danny Rowe comes on for Luke Garbutt. So um, this is interesting because Lambert's going to go with sort of inverted wingers here. Rowe is going to go and play down the right and we know he can cut in on his left foot. Dobra is going to play down the left-hand side. He can cut in on his right foot. I like this for Dobra. I thought this looked good and if Lambert's going to persist with a 4-2-3-1, I think inverted wingers is the way to go if you can get those fullbacks forward and get your whip from them. I like the I like the look of that system. So two fullbacks really high up. You've got to dominate possession if you're going to do that. And inverted wingers tucking in and just get those overloads, those three-man overloads. I like the look of that. I don't know if that's what he's thinking, but certainly he tried it out here for 20 minutes at the end here. El Mazzuni in the 10 position here. Lovely ball through. Um, great play by El Mazzuni. In for Jackson. He's in behind. Really good chance. Opens up his body, hits it right foot, and Fitzsimmons makes the save. Jackson should score here. That would have been a nice fillet for El Mazzuni, who I was critical of for puffing a little bit early in the Colchester game, but exactly what he should be doing, receive it, turn, play it through for your pacey striker. Well played, El Mazzuni. Jackson should have scored, but hey, three and two in the friendlies. We're, we're hopefully off to the races with Jackson, but some still questioning his finishing, maybe rightly so. After that, Dobra, as I said, inverted winger, beautiful feet by him, and he gets taken out, slaloming in a tight space there. Um, El Mazzuni thinks he's Ronaldinho for a minute here and tries to catch everyone out with the free kick on the near post, but um, wasted. Um, another whole slew of Notts County subs. I think it's the remaining seven or six, so the whole 11 changes. Here comes James Norwood on 78. He's going to get 12 minutes, but we know there's going to be a big stoppage for um, the Nidam injury. El Mazzuni goes out, and again, it is basically a 4-4-2 now. Jackson and Norwood, neither of them are a 10, so... Um, and in some ways, maybe Emir Hughes looked a little bit better in an orthodox 4-4-2 centre midfield as opposed to that deeper 
double pivot position. I'd be interested to know what people think about that. I'll talk about Hughes and Skews together there at the end of the video. Um, nice drive forward from Clements at left back. He grew into the game here, thrown to the ground. Dazell swings in a beautiful free kick here, and Darber is up on the far post. Now he climbs up, heads the ball into the net. A um, little bit of confusion here. The flag goes up for offside. James Norwood did follow this one in. Um, so I hope it was Ndaba that was offside in the first instance and not Norwood on the goal line um, poaching that finish there. But either way, the flag up very quickly from the linesman. Rowe, lovely dink ball on the run over the top. Hughes in behind, inside left, floats it over. Norwood, he's so dangerous, takes the touch, spins, hits it a goal. Blocked out there. Uh, Mitrovic piling on. I think they're playing against a team of uh, trialists now. 88 here. Long period of the ball. Worked out to the right-hand side. Uh, sorry, to the left-hand side. Right to left to Clements. Low cross from him. Falls to Dobber. He's got to hit this with the side foot first time. Just shape it in. But he wants to have a load of touches. He brings it back across into the crowd on his left foot and gets blocked out. Could have hit the winner there if he's hit that one first time. Doesn't even need to be a great shot. Just an early shot, I think, would have done there. Uh, seven minutes stoppage time as we expected. Uh, across from the right, Skews gets away with one there, loses his man and it's shanked wide by the Notts County forward. Norwood in down the left, his cross can't find Jackson who's pulled off at the back post. Rowe gets across the line from right to left this time and gets in behind. He's not got the angle to run in behind on goal so he hits an early one. It's, it's a firm hit on the left foot but straight down the throat of the keeper skews deep cross here, following in from right back position. Hughes is free, he's a long way out, and he tries to give it the old neck muscles, but doesn't get the direction when he tries to generate the power there. So, look, main story we've spoken about it Tristan Nydam, nasty injury, we think, dislocated ankle. Um, I'm not a doctor, but the quick texts and WhatsApp messages I've got are saying, is that a clean break? Does that mean it will be quicker than a horrible? Um, break with lots of bits and um, we will see I'm not a doctor I'm not a scientist I just I'm a human being and judging by the look on Dazelle and Hughes and Garbutt's face um, <sighs> hey maybe the foot was dare I say it pointed in a funny direction and it can be reset easily I hope so for Tristan Nydam's sake um, in terms of the Ipswich team um, Bialkowski looked fairly solid not great with the kick into the fullbacks, but um, I think that ship might have sailed for Bielkowski. We know great shot stopper, but not a great kicker. Emmanuel, the positive is one beautiful one two and got forward, trying to follow Lambert's instructions to get high, but really at fault for the goal. That goal shouldn't have happened. Ipswich should win the game. Um, Nidham said, obviously. Guthrie headed it, kicked it. Um, yeah. Uh, looked reasonably solid in this environment, as did Wilson in the second half. Um, I think both of them are way behind Chambers um, and Ciala, um, maybe even Kenlock in terms of just a bit more experience him uh, covering there. So we'll see if either of those gets a deal. Wolfenden, nice to see him um, for the first half. Um, and Darba, a bit shaky at the start of the centre half, but there's something there that's a little bit different with Ndaba. Couple of mistakes after the injury, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that the injury was messing with his um, messing with his performance there. But it looks like he has an upside that's slightly different with athleticism, a little bit of a swagger and a bit of a comfort on the ball. I want to see more of um, Ndaba before I pass judgment. Um, Skews and Hughes was the double pivot in the first half. Not sure that's going to work with both of them. I think you need Flynn Downs to be one of those positions if you're playing 4-2-3-1. I thought Hughes looked more comfortable as an orthodox number eight um, in the second half. Um, prepared for people to disagree with me on that. Um, I think I think Downs is pegged if it's 4-2-3-1 there. Um, Dobra, El Mazzuni, Garber. Garber looked better as I said when he came off the line and inside as did Dobra when he went left hand side Dobra grew into the game actually El Mazzuni better than Colchester I thought showed some nice touches 
think would have had an easier game if he just had the more experienced player row outside him. That's no knock on Dobra. Obviously, these two guys are learning on the job together. And that one real moment of quality where he played Jackson through and Jackson should have scored. Um, Jackson, yeah, it's that thing with the finishing, isn't it? One lovely finish um, and one one-on-one where he missed. If he's going to get those chances, though, regularly, he will score. We just need to know... Is it going to be a 4-2-3-1 and one up top? In that case, it's not going to be Caden Jackson. It's going to be James Norwood. Is it going to be a 4-4-2? Lambert certainly having a good look at Jackson. Um, I don't know what um, what is going to suit Ipswich better, but I would say, looking at the likes of Guion Edwards, Luke Garber, El Mazzuni, Judge, dare I mention him, Sears, um, Dobra, I think 4-2-3-1 suits that lot better, but don't know whether it suits the forwards and the centre midfielders better. You've got to let someone down here. Um, and um, had a conversation with Blue Monday's Joe Fares the other day, and he said, get the best players on the pitch, which means, I guess, you get you play 4-4-2 and you get Norwood, Jackson, Hughes, Skews, and you just fill in those wide positions. We shall see. Pattern of play um, may come secondary to star power on the pitch. Who knows um so look that's my summations i think lambert will try 4-2-3-1 again at cambridge i think we'll see a few different players coming in but sadly again to reiterate the story is the injury to tristan nidem we're off to cambridge on saturday i will be there really interested now in your thoughts in the comments on the system and which one suits best and what now paul lambert's going to do at Burton on the opening day. Will it be Norwood and Jackson up front? Will it be 4-2-3-1 and no Jackson? Will it be a 4-4-2 which might suit our centre mids better? Who knows? We'll find out. Maybe we'll find out more at Cambridge. Um, but obviously our best wishes to Tristan Nidham today and get well soon from a dislocated ankle. Thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom. And for the first time, you can now support me on Patreon. You go to Patreon, type in Benjamin Bloom. Um, I'm here. I'm in that's County. I, I spend lots of money doing this. I don't make any, so I've started a Patreon. So if you've enjoyed any of my work and you feel like you might want to help out that way, it is not compulsory. But it would be very much appreciated. I've gone long, 22 minutes on a damn friendly, so I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get home. Um, thank you for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, get in the comments, Patreon, Twitter, over and out.